all right so welcome back to my channel it's your girl jenny your baby girl gs kings once again so on today's video like you can see you're about to cook right so yeah um i'm about to make some fresh tomato stew with some fresh fish okay no frying or nothing okay this is a healthy stew basically so let's go over the ingredients really quick and then we'll start making this stew so i have onions i have fresh tomatoes okay everything here is fresh i have some fresh tilapia i have bell pepper i have the green and the yellow ones um i have my kenyan powdered pepper i have my sazon goya i have my nutmeg i have my curry powder of course salt and then i'm gonna be using olive oil my pot is hot already so i'm gonna go ahead and add the oil all right guys so i tested the oil is hot so i'm gonna go ahead and add the onions Once the onion soften up a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and I'll add the um, tomatoes. guys so the onions has pretty much softened up a little so i'm gonna go ahead and add the tomatoes yeah it's a lot of tomatoes but by the time it's done cooking it's not gonna be that much okay so i'm gonna mix everything together and i will let it cook for about a minute or two and I'll go ahead and add my powdered pepper and the spices. Alright, so it's been a minute since I covered it. Okay, like I told you guys, I was waiting for a minute. <laughs> so basically, at this point, you can see the tomatoes are not even done cooking because it's just been a minute. I'm going to add my spices and the pepper. So I added the sazon. I'm going to add some Kenyan powdered pepper. I like to use a lot of pepper when I'm cooking with fish because I don't want to get any scent in it. So it's going to be pretty spicy. Some nutmeg. Then some curry powder. I love curry powder. And I'm going to go ahead and add a bit of salt. Salt actually helps to cook the um, tomatoes faster. So I added some salt. I'm going to mix everything together. I'm going to cover it up once it's like almost done cooking i'm gonna add the fish and remember this is vegetable stew so you don't really have to wait for a long time to add the next ingredients because these are all veggies i don't want to overcook anything so about five minutes i'm gonna come and then i'll add the fish so this is how it looks like after stirring it i'm gonna cover it and like i said i'll give it five to ten minutes for it to cook and i'll go ahead and add the fresh fish Meanwhile, I'm actually cooking my white rice. Um, once it starts to boil, I'm going to add a little bit of oil on top of it. So I'm going to be having this stew with some rice. You can have it with plantain, some yams, um, potatoes, some, well, basically whatever you want, okay? <laughs> but I'm going to be having my with some rice. All right, guys, so it's been 10 minutes. Um, oh, my God, it looks beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead, give me a second. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and then I'm gonna stir it and I will add the fish. I will add the fish and once the fish is done cooking and then I will add the bell peppers. I like my bell peppers crunchy. Basically that's the reason why I add them last. Oh god, I don't like <laughs> the way the fish is looking at me like what the hell? I didn't kill you. You were dead already. So now that the fish is in, I'm just going to stir it, you know, and then I'll cover it for another 5 to 10 minutes 
the fish should be done cooking and then i'll add the veggies all right so at this point i'm just gonna go ahead and add the veggies because the stew is basically done the fish is done cooking the stew is basically done i'm gonna let the um, veggies cook for a minute because i don't like them to be soggy so after um a minute i'm just gonna turn off the stove let it cool down and pour it into my storage container so guys my one minute is up so i'm gonna turn off the stove this is how my stew is looking like my fresh tomato fresh fish sauce I'm ready to eat. I have my rice, so I'm gonna pour some. If you want, you can leave it on for a few minutes. If you don't want um the um the bell peppers to be crunchy, okay. I just don't like soggy veggies. So yeah, I will see you guys on my next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you think the sauce is a bit liquidy for you, you can add a bit of tomato paste when you, as you are cooking it. You don't have to just use fresh tomatoes because fresh tomatoes. Have a lot of water you know but if you do use or add a bit of canned tomatoes to it it will thicken up okay that's how the sauce looks like on rice so yeah bye i hope you guys try it out and if you do and you like it let a girl know comment subscribe if you haven't done so and i will see you guys on my next video bye i love you and as always god loves you more and yep see ya